I present to you another New England Patriots 2024 NFL Draft target, Cole Burgess, Cortland State. Here is one of the best, unknown, deepest, dark horses in the entire draft. Cole Burgess is an absolute stud wide receiver that I highlighted way back before the start of the college season as one of the best receivers in D3, along with Wayne Ruby. Cole had a massive career at Cortland, ready, 178 receptions, 3,133 yards, 35 touchdowns in the air, plus 1,647 kick return yards, three TDs, giving us, ready, 4,867 all-purpose yards, 38 touchdowns, and even one blocked punt, and countless highlight plays to help the Red Dragons win the national championship this past year. Yet, I haven't heard anyone mention his name in the media. Yeah, I get that you haven't watched a lot of college football and are relying upon assistants to feed you the names or maybe follow another guy who does the same thing. I get it. But if you really enjoy football and helping athletes get to the terminal level of their sport, you find guys like Cole, who has been shooting flares up his whole entire career and has the tape to do it. Yeah, I get that you don't believe in a D3 prospect. Sure. But again, Cole has demonstrated that he plays well above his peers statistically and is a much better athlete than most of the receivers in the draft class and actually in NFL history. Ready for his pro day numbers? Cole Burgess, starting off 40 yard dash. Okay, so his 40 is 4.45. Fast, fast, but not blazing fast. Be ready for his 10 yard? 1.43. Now Xavier Worthy, who broke the combine 40 yard record, his 10 yard, 1.5. Again, Cole, 1.43, and is nearly 30 pounds heavier. You also have much better vert and broad than Xavier. You're ready for Cole's vert? 41 and a half inches. His broad? 11 foot five. At nearly 200 pounds. Now for a shuttle? 4.23. Pretty good. But his three cone? 6 point seven two seconds that is absolutely absurd in fact in terms of speed agility and explosion the only guys in his league comprehensively are really ad mitchell uh pearsall flournoy um yeah neighbors is pretty close but he didn't test agility so he can't really tell but most of those guys don't bench anything near him and are 20 30 pounds heavier this guy is a rare specimen that makes him undeniably a mismatched terror for DCs. I mean, no one is going to want to be face up on the line of scrimmage with this guy. A 1.43 10 yard with upper body strength, the guy can bench 21 reps at 192 pounds. I mean, he's like three or four reps away from being a decent offensive lineman for bench. That guy's just going to blow right by you or fright you off. He possesses exceptional acceleration just to leave people miles behind in only a few steps. He also has jaw-dropping ability to not lose any miles per hour out of his brakes. He just changes direction without slowing. This makes Burgess a home run threat who can stretch defenses vertically with his speed, which will undoubtedly be an asset in the NFL. However, his biggest threat is crossing routes. He loses defenders and just slices through traffic, creating plenty of confusion to disrupt assignments. This guy will put defenders in conflict immediately. Now in terms of receiver skills, Burgess offers more than just speed and explosion. He exhibits great body control, enabling him to make catches along the sideline and just properly with poorly thrown balls. He has plenty of catches from over the shoulder and does not lose his step. Despite not being a large target, Burgess can jump and has a considerable catch radius. He has body control that extends after the catch, where he proves to be a very shifty runner capable of evading defenders in the open field. His change of direction skills make him more than just a straight line speed player, as he possesses the threat with the ball in his hands and racks up significant yards after catch. While Burgess might not be tall, he is strong for his size. He can absorb hits and use his strength to compete for the ball against defensive backs. 
Although he won't initiate physicality with the NFL quarterbacks, Burgess shouldn't be underestimated in terms of toughness. Another aspect to highlight, Cole works from all receiver alignments and is dangerous between the 20s and the red zone. Additionally, he brings special teams ability to the table, particularly as an asset on kick returns. First, he played at Division III level, so there's going to be questions about his ability to play at the NFL. Obvious. Uh, another thing is that he's not a big receiver with less than ideal catch radius and does not have blazing, blazing top end speed to get wide open over the top with just his feet. In addition, he will need to work on his release packages to adapt to the NFL level and the route tree. It was limited at Cortland. That's to be expected, but he's going to have to put a lot of work in to fill out the spaces. In general, he would be a raw talent at the next level with some unknowns until he is actually in a camp. Now, why would the Patriots target him? It seems like every day the Patriots need more and more help at the receiver position. The Patriots need guys who could show up and do their job and are not just character issues and haven't matured yet. It's over and done with. You need to get some guys who are reliable, are not a distraction, or a pain in the neck. Oh, and it would help if they were healthy and got open. I mean, right now, the Patriots are struggling to have guys on the field who can get open and can survive the season without getting injured every other game. I mean, it's a mess. Cole could be a guy who can come in and add depth while also developing into a unique receiver that can also contribute on special teams. Furthermore, he is from upstate New York. He went to college in upstate, so he's used to playing in the Northeast. A nice plus. Now, when would they target him? Although Cole has immense potential, I think he has to be a UDFA target or someone has to bring him into a rookie minicamp. He has the tools and production, but the Patriots are going to have plenty of other receiver targets to choose from in this draft. It's just an overwhelmingly deep draft. Now, here's the thing. I think Cole has got lots of potential, but guess what? He's 54th ranked on my big board for wide receivers, which honestly is still pretty good considering that's, gosh, around Cornelius Johnson from Michigan and um, Devon Veley from uh, Utah. There's plenty of guys in there that are still legitimate players who even went to the Combine but it's just reality. It's a very deep wide receiver class. So I think he's going to have to be UDFA. That being said, I think he's a no brainer to call if you're really serious about working hard to turn this team around, but you also want to reset the culture again with guys who are going to come in and do the work and prove they belong there. I think Cole's one of those guys. Anyway, what do you guys think about Cole? Do you think the Patriots should target him? If so, when? Let me know in the comment section below. If you like this content, please like and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.